Hi. Are we ready? Are we live? Hi, everybody. It's Monday. It's um, parent-teacher conference week. We'll talk about that. Um, it is the last week before spring break. Yay! I can't wait to go on spring break. Woo! Um, all right, all the jokes aside, um, today we are going to review the multiplication of fractions work we've been doing. Okay? So... I'm going to ask you to look at this paper. I'm going to ask you to write it down on your paper. We're going to do a few together. And then you are going to take a little at-home quiz. Ooh. And then um, and then you're going to put it in the comments for me to look at. And I'll give you a little grade, okay? Um, it's either going to be awesome or more awesome. Because that's the only grades I'm given right now. Yeah. All right, so, Nora, will you... Put this down at this paper right here. I'll try to hold it steady. We're also going to put a picture of it in the comments so that you guys can see it, okay? All right. Um, oh, you can take pictures while you're filming? Oh, wow, I learned something new. All right, well, we're, let's go at it here. I'll try to be brief because we want to keep these videos super short, right? So uh, in your... Uh, take a go ahead and pause the video. Hold on, here. let's try to get all of them in there. There you go. Go ahead, and pause the video. Your sleeves in there, love them. Pause the video. I'm gonna try to get all of them. There you go. Okay, and make sure you write estimate and model and solve. We're gonna solve them underneath there. Okay. All right. And now that you've got them all. Let's go ahead and solve number one. Okay, Nora, you got it? Good job. All right, here we go. So the first thing I want to do is I want to estimate. And in order to estimate this problem, I'm going to estimate 8 ninths to 1. And I'm going to estimate 45 to 45 because it's compatible with 1. Let me get an estimate of about 45. Okay. My model is going to show that I would have about 45 cookies. And that I would split those up into ninths, and I would give you about eight ninths of them. So again, I'm gonna estimate that I've got about 40, okay? Let's go ahead and solve it. Eight over nine times 45 over one, and I see that I can cross cancel, and look at that, ha ha. I solved it exactly like my estimate, looks pretty good. Let's take a look at number two. Again, 3 fourths times 150. <clears throat> this is about 1 times 150, so I'm guessing I have about 150. If I draw a model and I put 150 inside of that model and I split it into 3 fourths, I'm guessing I'm going to have about 100. So again, if I solve, I get 450 over four. Well, again, I can use the distributive property and break 450. And I know that 400 divided by four, let's focus on my hand. There you go, lovey. 400 divided by four is 100. And I know that 50 divided by four is 12 and a half. So I've got 12 and a half plus 100 is 112 and a half, which again is pretty close to my model, okay? Again, pause the video if you need because we're using uh, outdated technology, aren't we? We're doing the best we can, you're doing great. No, I don't want you to pause the video. I want them to pause the video. I want you to keep going. You're doing great. Okay, moving right along, we've got 20 groups of two-thirds. Now, like we talked about in class the other day, this is a little different because this is saying I have two-thirds 20 times. So this one's a little harder for me to draw a model of because I don't want to draw two-thirds, two-thirds, two-thirds. Got to show my whole hand there, love. Okay, got to show the whole thing there, baby. All right. And so I'll tell you what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to say that I've got 20 and it's about one and I'm going to get about 20, but I know that two thirds is less than one. So I'm going to guess that this is a little lower, maybe 16. 
All right, so let's go ahead and solve. And on top, I'll get 40. And on the bottom, I'll get three. I'm gonna solve that old school here. Why not? And look at that. I get 13 and one third, which is pretty close to my estimate. We're doing great. We only have two more to do. Here we go. This time I have two fifths of one third. Now I know that from my own lesson that this is a piece of a piece, okay? A piece of a piece, which means it's gonna be less than a whole and it's gonna get smaller. It's gonna get really, really small. So I'm going to guess that this is close to zero. I'm going to draw a model of one third. And I'm going to split this one third piece <clears throat> into fifths. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to shade in two of them. And I'm going to see that the piece got really, really small. Let's find out exactly how many that is. I'll draw my dashed lines. I can pretty much tell it's gonna be 15 now. But let's do the math over here. We get 2 15 and there they are. The answer is 2 15 And finally, <clears throat> one last problem for today's math. Five. Three and a ninth times five, or three and a ninth groups of five. Now, I don't know what a ninth group looks like, so I'm gonna estimate this all to about three times five. And I'm gonna say that that's about 15. About. Now, I know from my cousin Joe that I can turn this into a mixed number and multiply across, so I'm going to do that. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 1 is 28, all over 9. I'm going to times that by 5. Easy stuff. Now, I'm not going to freak out. I'm good at math, no big deal. I don't see any cross-canceling I can do, but guess what? Boom. I can do 9 times 1 on the bottom is 9. 28 times 5, that feels a little hard, but guess what? Distributive property. 20 times 5 is 100. 8 times 5 is 40. So guess what I got on top? 140, all divided by 9. I think that's going to come out to about 15. Let's check it. 140 divided by 9. Again, I'm going to go old school, because I can. 9 goes into 14 once. I get 50. Ooh, I know my times facts. How many times does 9 go into 50? Oh, I door got stumped. It's 5. Because 5 times 9 is 45. And 50 minus 45 is a remainder of 5 ninths. Look at that. Look how close I was. Easy stuff. Okay. Now, feel free to go back and pause the video. Okay, and take a look at that. And here is your quiz. So, Nora, can you hold that nice and still for them? We're going to, well, we just did. We took a picture of it. So that is what I want you to try out and post in the comments. Good luck. Do well. <coughs> we will talk very soon. I'll be looking forward to seeing your work. Goodbye, everybody.